Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's David Banda, the Universal Data Boy, aka the A Plus Ambassador. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe right now and remember to share and like the link. Today I'll be going over an interesting question. It reads An electric field E equal to 100,000 Newton per Coulomb causes a 5.0 gram point charge to hang at a 20 degree angle. What is the charge on the ball? So, um, we can we can start first depending with your with your tutor of course but mostly everyone would like you to start with the data so you can you can you can start with the data and the data that you have is you have got e e is equal to hundred thousand newton per coulomb then what else do we have we've got mass so mass we can label it as m so m is equal to 5.0 grams which is also equal to 5 times 10 to the power negative 3 kg what else do we have we have theta we have theta which is equal to 20 degrees so then now we're being told that this this charge this electric field rather causes a certain charge to hang at 20 degrees so we're going to find out the 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 charge on the ball that it has on this ball we are being told that it has a mass of uh, five grams so the first thing that we can do here is we can draw a free body diagram so initially what we have is we have an electric field horizontal horizontal then we've got a we've got a charge that's here then upon this electric field this charge will hang at theta equal to 20 degrees so then now we're being told to say what's the charge what's the charge that's there here so the first thing that we can deduce here is that this thing is hanging so all forces are equal to zero and then the forces on this ball are that in here we have got a tension force in the rope each rope has got a tension force then here we've got the weight weight which is equal to mg then this weight is opposed by a force because since it's balanced so this weight is opposed by a force there's a force that's going up and then um this electric field causes this ball to go in this direction so there is a force, a force which is equal to, a force which is equal to E Q. This is the force caused by the electric charge. It can be found using this formula. And then this force is also counteracted by a force that's going in that direction. So now these two forces are due to this tension force. This tension force is acting at an angle. So we have got force in the y direction and force in the x direction. So when you look at uh, these angles if if this is equal to theta then this is also equal to theta so you can deduce that this is equal to 20 degrees and then now we can use our Sokatoa if this line was going that way and this line was going that way we can now use our Sokatoa in that this is adjacent to the tension so this will be t cosine theta and this this angle this one is opposite to this tension which which is equal to the one that's also here this one will be t sine theta then after we've done this now we can begin to we can begin to now um, use our equations of equilibrium so we're going to say the force in the x direction is equal to zero since it's hanging and then the forces which are in the x direction are forces in the x direction are equal to we've got um in the x direction we've got the force which is eq eq then it's been counteracted by t sine theta then since this is equal to zero we can we can add t sine theta this side and t sine theta that side which is the same as making it making it cross the equal sign then we're going to have eq being equal to t sine theta then what we want here is the charge which is q so q when you make q subject of the formula by dividing both sides by e we're going to have it being equal to t sine theta over e so now here we have got theta we have got e but what we don't have is t so we're going to go now in the y direction so summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero because it's hanging it's not there's no motion so now um summation of forces in the y direction is going to be equal to so we have um, t cos theta being counteracted by mg so now 
um we are going to add mg on both sides this is equal to zero this is just a zero so we're going to have mg being equal to t cosine theta now at this point we can find we can find t because we have theta we have g we are also have m so now when we make t subject of the formula by dividing both sides by cosine theta we're going to have t being equal to mg over cosine theta then now t is going to be equal to what's m m is 5 times 10 to the power negative 3 um, times 9.81 which is our gravity over cosine 20 so now we can punch that in the calculator let me just get my calculator and punch it in so we have um, 5 exponent negative 3 multiplied by 9.81 which is 0 0.04905 then we divide this by cosine 20 it's giving us 0 0.05219 but then we can round it off so we're going to have the answer so we're going to have the answer being equal to 0 0.05 uh, we're going to round it off to two, two newtons so this is our tension so i think we can rub we had uh, we had q being equal to t sine theta over e then we also had um, we also had uh, we had we had t being equal to mg over cosine theta then when we punched in, we found that it was equal to 0 0.0522 newtons. So now we have everything that we need to find our point charge. So we're going to have our T is going to be equal to 0 0.0522 sine. Our theta is 20 over our E is 100,000. So now our Q is going to be equal to, when we punch that in the calculator, so 0 0.0522 times sine times sine 20 then all of this divided by 100,000 we're going to have 1.785 times 10 to the power negative 7 Coulombs. So others might want you to take it in micro coulombs. So what you're going to do is you're going to say one times seven eight one point seven eight point five times ten to the power negative one micro coulombs. Then that's all for this one. If you have any other questions, remember you can send them to the number that's showing on your screen um, on WhatsApp in picture form. Then I can be able to answer them either in a video or I can send you a voice note. For me, the A-plus ambassador, the Universal Data Boy, David Banda. That's all. Bye-bye.